Have you ever wished for a magical berry that could transform the sour taste of lemon into sweetness? Well, you are in luck, cause it actually exists. So today we are going to talk about miracle berry, a fruit that is as miracular as its name suggests, with BAA. Hi, I'm Dr. Lo. Welcome to What People Also Ask, where I search something seemingly obvious and share with you some of its part, aka People Also Ask, which is the feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relate to your query. Today's query is Miracle Berry. We will explore what it is and how it works, and as well as some lesser known fun fact about it. So, what is Miracle Berry? The question can be answered by Wikipedia's Syncephalon Delphicon entry and Encyclopedia Britannica's Miracle Fruits entry. The miracle berry, as known as Syncephalon delphicon, is a plant native to tropical Africa. It belongs to the Sabbatacea family and is scientifically classified under the kingdom Plantae in the order Ericales. Its other common names include a miraculous berry, miracle fruit, and sweet berry. The miracle berry is renowned for its unique property of ordering the taste of sour food to sweet. This is possible due to a glycoprotein molecule found in the berry called miraculum, which bind to the tongue's taste bud when the fleshy part of the fruit is eaten. At neutral pH, miraculum binds and blocks the receptor, but when sour food are consumed, resulting in a lower pH, miraculum binds protein and activates the sweet receptor, leading to the perception of a sweet taste. This taste-altering effect can last up to 30 minutes until the protein is washed away by saliva. However, it's worth noting that the berry itself has low sugar content and only a mildly sweet tang. The berry has been used for centuries, particularly in West Africa. It was first documented in the 18th century by European explorer, the Chevalier des Marchais. More recently in the United States, there was an attempt to commercialize the fruit for its unique ability to make non-sweet foods taste sweet without a caloric cost. However, the Food and Drug Administration classified the berry as food additive and required evidence of safety, which has limited its commercial use. Today in the tropical West Africa, the fruit pulp is used to sweeten palm wine and improve the flavor of sour corn bread. It is also used as a sweetener and flavoring agent for diverse beverage and food like beer, cocktail, vinegar, and pickles. However, importing Syncephalon delphicon, specifically Miraculon from Taiwan, has been banned in the United States since 2011, as the FDA declared it an quote unquote, illegal undeclared sweetener. In contrast, in 2021, Bayer Food Co. in Spain was granted permission to put dry miracle berry on the EU market. It is worth mentioning that other species such as Cinema sylvester and Somatococcus denalis are also sometimes referred to as miracle fruit or miracle berry due to their ability to alter the perceived sweetness of food. Furthermore, in scientific research, transgenetic tomato plants have been developed that produce miraculin. One example is a research titled Production of Recombinant Miraculin Using Transgenetic Tomatoes in the Closed Cultivation System, published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry in 2010. In this research, the researchers built a special system to grow genetically modified tomato that produce miraculin a protein that can make sour food taste sweet. They control the amount of light temperature and carbon dioxide to help the tomatoes grow well. The tomato thrives under these conditions and produce a lot of fruit, over 270 grams of fresh weight per plant. The researcher found that the tomato could produce up to 90 micrograms of miraculin for every gram of fresh weight of the tomatoes. The team compares the amount of miraculin produced by tomato grown in this special system to those grown in a netted greenhouse, which is another common way to grow tomatoes. They found that the genetically modified tomato grown in the control system produced a more consistent amount of miraculin, suggesting that this method can be a better way to grow these tomatoes. 
Finally, the researchers calculated that in one year they could harvest around 45 tons of fresh weighed tomato and about 4 kilograms of mariculin from a 1,000 square meter area using this cultivation method. In simpler terms, this method can be used to produce a large amount of mariculin reliably and consistently. As you might have noticed, miracle berry is interesting, and government like to ban interesting things. So, are miracle berry illegal? This question can be answered by an article titled Miracle Berry Developing Its Promise, published by New Food Magazine, which is a digital publication that features content on a range of topics in the global food and beverage industry, including food safety, new technology, regulatory updates, scientific research, and product innovations. According to this article, in the United States, miraculin is considered a food additive and does not have grass status. AKA generally recognized as safe due to its sufficient safety data. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration (FDA) has previously denied attempt to grant illegal approval for miraculin berry products. However, cultivation and sales of miracle berry are permitted. And event utilizing the flavor altering properties are increasingly popular in bars, restaurants, and hotels. In the European Union, miraculin does not have a specific legal status. However, the miracle berry is on the EU list of novel food. The European Food Safety Authority (EFSA) panels of nutrition, novel food, and food allergens conclude that. The lyophilized fruit, aka freeze-dried fruit of S. delphicum, are safe for use as or in food supplement at a maximum intake level of 0.7 gram per day, excluding pregnant and lactating women. This is due to insufficient scientific data available for this subgroup. In Japan, there are no restrictions on selling miracle berries. Despite these regional regulations, miracle berries are not universally approved as food additives due to a lack of extensive scientific studies. Nevertheless, they are grown extensively in Asia, the U.S., and Latin America, and are available in various forms, including fresh and dry fruit, juice, fruit seed oil, freeze-dried powders, canned fruit, and tablets containing miraculin. So, do miracle berry have side effect? This question can be answered by an article titled "Miracle Berry Side Effect," published by LifeStrong.com, which is a health and wellness website. According to this article, miracle berries are generally considered safe with minimal side effect. However, some potential side effects may occur, including one overconsumption of exceeded food. The active ingredient in miracle berry miraculin alters the perception of taste, making sour food taste sweet. This might encourage people to consume these foods in larger quantity than usual. This could potentially be harmful, leading to issues like stomach upset or heartburn, especially if high acidity food are consumed in excess. Two long-lasting taste alterations. Some people have reported that the taste altering effect of miraculin lasts longer than expected. In rare cases, up to 18 hours. This can cause anxiety in some individuals, although the effect is temporary. Three unexpected flavor enhancement. There have also been instances where other flavors, such as saltiness, were enhanced, which could be problematic for people who weren't anticipating this effect. Four potential risk for children. While miraculin does not mask the bitter taste of harmful substances. There is a concern that the fruit taste altering effect could potentially put children at risk of consuming harmful substances, misunderstanding the real taste due to the sweet perception induced by the berries. Overall, while miracle berry is generally considered safe, this potential side effect should be taken into account, especially when consuming food with strong flavors or potentially harmful substances. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PAA real self will be a pain. So here's the deal: I will do the reading for you and upload a video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, so you won't miss any PAA reports that I compile. So just do it right now.